Student Desk Fitting Instructions Before we begin, there are some things to keep in mind. There is an attached list of components at the back page. Always work on a soft flat surface to prevent damage and scratches to your new product. Do not over tighten cams, screws or bolts unnecessary. Some items may vary slightly from the illustrations. Let's begin. First off, we are going to unpack the box. Inside you will find insulation instructions, two plastic bags with parts and four wooden panels. We will be using the box and wrapping as the soft flat surface to work on. Move everything to the side of the open box. Note the following. Cams have a small arrow on top that should be facing the edge of the panel. There is also an opening at the bottom which should be facing the edge of the panel. Press into wood to fit. See step 1. The dowels are simply inserted into the holes and steel pins need to be screwed into the wood with a screwdriver. Remove and set aside the first panel. We will be starting with the next. We will be inserting two cams, two dowels and screw in two steel pins into the panel. Please do not over tighten. Lift the panel and insert two small plastic feet opposite side of the cams and set panel aside. We will be repeating this on the next panel as well. Insert two cams, two dowels and screw in two steel pins. Lift the panel and insert two small plastic feet opposite side of the cams. Set the panel aside. Let's get back to the long panel we set aside at the beginning. Insert 7 cams into each hole in the panel. Get any of the panels we set aside earlier and lay them flat on the soft surface. Pick up the long panel with the 7 cams and lower it onto the panel on the floor. Ensuring the three cams on the long edge facing the same direction as the cams on the panel on the floor. Lock the two cams on the upright panel by turning them clockwise. Here is a close up of how the cams should be locked. Next, turn the assembly upside down as shown. Most cams will be at the bottom. Gather the remaining panel we set aside earlier and move it into place as shown in the video. Again, lock the two cams on the back panel closest to the panel just placed. Lift and turn the assembly onto its feet as shown and set aside. The last panel is the top. Place it on the soft surface. We will be inserting six dowels and screwing in seven steel pins in this panel. Pick up the panel and turn it upside down, lowering the panel onto the main assembly with a big hole facing the back on the assembly. See step 5. Once the top panel has been lowered onto the assembly, line up all the protruding pins into the respectable holes. Note that this can take a minute due to all the pins that need to be lined up. Don't use force. Take a look all around the product to ensure the product does not get damaged because of a missed pin. Here is a close-up of what is possible should all pins not be lined up properly. Next up, we will be getting under the table to lock all the remaining cams by turning them clockwise. Feel free to check all cams twice. Lastly, the wire hole cover simply just slots into the big hole on the desk's top. Should you have a different product than the student desk, head to our channel to find the product you have purchased. Thanks for watching.